Hey everybody, my name is Ben Briard. Today we're going to take a look at a new technology in RHEL called FDO, which stands for Fido Device Onboarding. So the past couple years on the RHEL side, we've been working on adapting the operating system to be more amenable to edge environments. And so there's a, a whole thing out there called RHEL for Edge. I suggest you go take a look at um, this technology is embedded in this workflow. So uh, how we create these edge images is how we're going to interact with FDO. So uh, it's important that this, this whole session isn't a deep dive on, on all things image builder and so forth. Now, what is FDO? Basically, um, there is a problem with deploying edge systems where when we ship out a bunch of systems, uh, are they gonna be you know, explicitly built for their purpose? Are they gonna be general purpose? Then what happens when they come on, when you power them up, you finish provisioning, is it a manual process? Do you have automation? Is the automation fragile? What's the development time to do this? All of these types of things. How do you prove that the device is who it says it is when it comes up on your network? Do you trust a third party provider uh, who's maybe gonna be imaging the systems for you? You have all this complexity. And FDO really aims at the heart of simplifying all of this. And so uh, that's really what FDO does is it solves the problem, uh, or several problems here. One is like the trust and the chain of ownership of the device. Um, it also solves the what happens when a system is powered on. We're going to verify that it is who it says it is. And then uh, we'll open up a secure channel and be able to execute um, you know, remote commands and files, these types of things. Um, so in an ideal world, we um, customers can either flash systems themselves or have a third party flash the systems when they install them, they don't have to hand over any sensitive certificates, data applications, these types of things. We can load those after the fact. Um, and then when a device hits, lands in the field, it's gonna wake up, verify that the device is who it says it is, that it is owned by the person trying to, you know, automate this box or actually onboard it. And then uh, we'll have a secure channel to, yeah, take care of everything. Okay, so in this release, uh, we're shipping all the components as RPMs. It's really, really easy to install. These are the various components. I'll just briefly describe them. The manufacturing part is where you actually get a certificate for the device and the ownership voucher. It's where that's generated. Uh, and then what's needed at first boot is a rendezvous service. This is going to handle routing and say, when a box comes in, call this endpoint. And then uh, if you have a fully, you know, if you split up FDO over many endpoints, you can have it go to different places. And then uh, on the owner service, this is where we're actually going to uh, run commands and set up the system and actually handle uh, what what onboarding looks like for you. Uh, and then the only other part is there is a client piece that is in, in the operating system. Now, to get your hands, uh, you know, kind of hands dirty with the technology, get you introduced to it. Um, we have a really easy way to get started. Uh, we have an all-in-one install that when you just install this, there's there's a handful of packages. If you grab FDO admin CLI, it's going to pick up all of the dependencies you'll need. Then if you just start the FDO AIO service, that's all you have to do. It's going to create all of your certificates, uh, all of the configurations you need um, and do everything for you. The only other thing you have to do is open the ports on the firewall and you're ready to go. Now, once you do this, everything's gonna live under Etsy FDO AIO. So if you need to change any of the configuration files, that's where you go to do it. There is an, an admin tool uh, that is really helpful in case you need to create new certificates and inject those, uh, these types of things. Uh, and just remember, anytime you make a change for your environment, uh, be sure to restart uh, the FDO daemons, they'll pick that up and you'll be good to go. Okay. Uh, again, I'm not going to go in deep with the image builder, but uh, to use this technology, we're going to need to build a, a simplified installer image. So, uh, you know, we still support Anaconda and Kickstart for doing like complex installs, um, but the simplified installer, all we're doing is just DDing the image to disk. So all the end user has to provide is what is the end disk on my device where I'm going to live? And then what is the endpoint of the manufacturing uh, service in FDO. Now we're using the all in one. So, you know, it's just, it's the one that's going to run on port 8080 for whatever your IP address is. Then tell image builder, yeah, make this image and we're ready to rock. Now this is going to give you an ISO image. You can just boot that. You can DD it to a thumb drive. You can copy it to a, a web server and do a network install. 
It's really, really flexible with how you actually do the installs. So enough talk, no more chit chat. Let's actually see this in action. Okay, on the left is my all-in-one server. Uh, you can see I'm in the directory of FDO. Uh, let's uh, just check the system control status and I verify, okay, I can see all of the different components of FDO are running. I'm gonna tail the manufacturing log here. And on the right is a virtual machine. Uh, I'm only using a VM just because it's easier to do screen share and capture. And I'm just showing you the grub menu so you can see that uh, Image Builder injected the hard drive that we're going to install to as well as the IP address of my manufacturing service. This, this is all 100% automated. There's no hands uh, to do this part. And we can see that the installer is uh, copying the image down. This is the only video trickery I sped this part up just so you won't have to sit uh, through a, a, you know, while we're actually copying the image over. Now, if you blink, you'll miss on the left. Uh, once we get to 100%, boom. That right there was the manufacturing service in action. We have created a device credential that is now just stored in the virtual machine. And on the back end, I have an ownership voucher that is ready to go and do the verification of my device. Okay, device shut down. We are ready to, to ship to the real world. Okay, now let's look at the configs here. I'm just copying a handful of configuration files over to the target system. In the command section, we can see I'm just going to create a couple directories. I'm going to reload my unit files. I'm going to enable uh, the new unit files to run. Let's turn on the console port, and then I'm going to re-encrypt my root storage and use the TPM chip to unlock it. How cool is that? I don't have to know anything about the complexity there. It's just going to make it work for me. How cool is that? All right. And so again, I'm just going to tail the log so you can see how quick this works uh, when the process actually happens. Go back to the virtual machine, I'm booting it up. Um, which, by the way, uh, uh, you'll notice this system is using UEFI firmware. We only support this path on systems with UEFI. So if you're using BIOS, we can still support you, but not with the simplified installer and, and FDO route. Okay, box comes up. We saw it call in on the left. And we see it's starting a Podman container. Uh, how cool is that? None of that was in the image. I've just done, uh, that's, that's the container starting up and getting uh, network access. Um, so let's log in here and take a look at that. All right, Podman PS. Okay, there is the container that was deployed via FDO. Uh, it's now running on the box and folding proteins. <laughs> okay, so if I check the status of FDO, uh, we can see that the client has run, it's onboarded. We saw it got the address of, of the all-in-one. We copied the configs over, did the re-encryption. Uh, we you know, obviously executed the commands and onboarding is complete. The client has now exited. All right, so a quick review. What we looked at today is we stood up an all-in-one FDO environment. Really, really easy to do that. Uh, we provisioned the system using the simplified installer. It automatically uh, called the manufacturing service and generated the certificates that we need. Uh, then when we powered it up, uh, it automatically grabbed the configs, ran our commands, re-encrypted the disk. And the end of the day, we had a system that was completely configured and it was running a containerized application. And none of this stuff was in the image and it was all done automatically and hands-free. Now, if you need to do more complicated stuff with this, a great thing that you could use FDO to is like register a system to Ansible, uh, these types of things. Uh, and so that's really where uh, kind of the power of this technology uh, can, can really help connect your environment to powerful things. Uh, if, okay, two ways to try this. If you go to console.redhat.com, we have a brand new experience here to build and manage uh, edge systems. While we're not using FDO there quite yet today, we will be in the future. Um, so to, to get your hands on this demo today, I'll point you to this GitHub URL. Uh, we got the whole thing spelled out there and it's really, really easy. You can deploy this on just a laptop or you need two VMs at most. Uh, super, super easy to get uh, started with the technology today. All right, thanks everybody. Hope you found this useful.